Alright, I just thought I'd give you a quick look around the aquaponics setup I have here. We'll start perhaps at the top. There's the uh, solar panel feeding down into the battery boxes down here. Uh, the cable you see here is um, charges the battery overnight. Uh, the little solar panel is not sufficient to charge it. The pump that we're using is a cheap, uh, quite a cheap little Chinese pump down here, pumping at uh, 20 litres an hour, which is fine. Okay, so what's in the barrel is very simple. This barrel here contains the fish, or at least will contain the fish as soon as I've managed to cycle the thing. The, here's the dam outlet. This here is a Venturi system that sucks air in and uh, you might be able to see it flushing. The bed itself, I've got scoria at the moment I'm growing some some lettuces and uh, there's some kale seeded which is yet to come up. Here's the <coughs> bell siphon. You can see the, uh, the air on the side, tied together, sits in there. The way this works is very simple, as the water rises it expels the air from inside the siphon and when these, there's no air there the water will, uh, will rush down the pipe through the venturi into the tank. The tank then, with this here, is an overflow. It collects the water from the bottom of the tank, brings it up and overflows it here and this is the sump, sump tank over here. The sump tank has got a bit of a cover over it as you can see, a bit of algae growing but the cover is basically to collect as much dust from the scoria as I can to keep it out of the system. It's been reasonably successful, not brilliantly. Here's the, um, the take to the pump, runs across here up to the pump. The pump as you say pumps up here and into the grow beds. At the back here we have a another overflow just in case the other one for some reason gets blocked uh, it will we'll use this as an emer as, this is higher than the other one so it'll only use it when the other one gets blocked but it'll mean make sure that anything won't uh, the f this won't overflow here so the fish will actually stay in the uh, in the bin right at the top, very simple, we have a old patio cover which I've draped over the top primarily to keep the rain off. The rain is, uh, can be quite acidic at times. This keeps the rain off but it also keeps the leaves off. We're coming into autumn here in New Zealand and all the leaves are going to start falling and I really don't want to have trees growing out of my aquaponics. Um, right, there's some, some basil which I rescued from a, uh, one of our garden beds. All that sprouting stuff there is lettuce. It's been in there just over a week, uh, looking extremely happy. Uh, these lettuces were uh, bought lettuces. They were bought in the seedlings and planted in here. Finally, the, uh, the temperature. You can possibly see it there. We have about uh, 18 degrees at the moment. It drops down to about 13 overnight, uh, but the, the water in the tanks stays up at around the 15 degrees mark. Uh, dark coloured scoria helps to heat it up. This finally, this little thing here, uh, because we live in an urban environment and there's somebody very sleeps very close to this environment, I switch the pumps off at night to stop the, uh, the bell siphons draining. It's uh, called keeping the neighbours happy. Right, well that's a uh, basic aquaponics setup, permakai.nz if you want to read more.